Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is array? The filter array node. I've gone ahead. I fired up a quick little example here. Let's run through it. So what we're going to do for this example is I'm going to use my volumes map example map, which contains a bunch of example volumes. The example is going to get our actors and print out the amount of them that we have inside of our map. So let's go ahead and hook this up. And on the top left corner, we should see 16 because we have 16 of these volumes inside the map. Now let's say, for example, we didn't want just the volumes. We want to know how many pain causing volumes there are. Well, we could go ahead and loop through each of these. And then when it's a pain causing volume, add them to another array or break or print out or do something, but by looping through all of them, or we can use the filter array node. Now the filter array node is special and you're going to notice it will not show up when I drag off of an int array. The filter array node is not a wildcard array. It's only going to take in an input of an actor. So if we hook this up and we put in our out actors, we're going to go ahead and now need to fill in our filter class. Which individual subclass do we want to find? Let's go ahead and type in pain and we'll go ahead and go to our pain causing volume. Let's go ahead and put this in here. Disconnect this. We'll plug in our length there and our print there. So now what we're going to do is get all of our volumes, filter out by just the pain causing volume and print out our length. When we hit play, this time you're going to notice one in the top left corner because we only have one pain causing volume and it's actually right in front of us. So that's all the areas to the filter array. You might be thinking, what might I use this for? Keep in mind, you have parent and child relationships, classes and subclasses. So for example, you may have an inventory. Your inventory may have things such as items, weapons, consumables, but let's say you have a base class of item. So we might get all the items in our inventory. Now we want to print out, maybe in a heads up display, how many weapons we have. We'll go ahead and filter out by the weapon and print out your length. Or maybe you want to, for example, sort your array. So maybe you'll filter by weapons first, have an out an array here, and then you'll filter by armor and then have another array, then maybe items, and then you take your three arrays, append them to each other, and now you have an array in the weapon, armor, item organization order. So that's it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.